How well do you know yourself? I'm gonna play this game to find out. Cut to the montage. Hello, welcome to my kitchen floor. So the game comes with like a bunch of rules and instructions. Well, I've never read these and I don't play that way. So what we're gonna do is just pull cards from the different levels and see how well we know ourselves. Oh, but one thing first, my mom just bought me this tiny mug. <laughs> Isn't this amazing? Okay, let's get serious. Oh, one thing to explain, there are three levels of cards. The higher the level, the deeper and more meaningful the questions. And that's it. All right, write down something others would never guess about you just by looking at you. Hey, it's voiceover John again. I'm showing you the cards so you know that I'm not a liar and I'm offended that you thought I even was. <laughs> I think just by looking at me, you would never guess that I had crippling codependency earlier in my life. My worst examples, I stayed in a pretty unhealthy, incompatible relationship for six years. I placed her needs above mine, so I thought I was just constantly working on the relationship and trying to fight for it to work. And the real answer was, I was hiding what I truly needed and wanted, which was to be out of that relationship. I have a whole video on my codependency and honestly, I'm gonna be talking about it a little bit more and more over time because it was something that was so difficult for me. It took so long for me to be aware of and then start working on that I'd love to share what worked for me with the world so that someone can hopefully prevent a little bit of pain and heartbreak through that. Who do you think my celebrity crush is? I don't really have a celebrity crush. Um, next. Do you think I've ever checked an ex's phone for evidence? No. Am I a coffee or a tea person? Sweetened or unsweetened? Ooh, I am neither. I love drinking water and then alcohol. <laughs> but if it's sweetened or unsweetened, I'm definitely a sweetened type of person. Like, ooh, give me a smoothie, a juice, a coffee, some alcohol, add it with sugar, and I'm in love. If my fitness coach is watching this, I want you to know that I only drink water. Am I a cat or a dog person? Easy. I'm sorry, pet people, I'm neither. What character would I play in a movie? Ooh, I love this question. Okay, so it totally depends what type of movie we're talking about. Like, are we in fantasy, rom-com, horror, action? So that's that's number one. But let's just pick one of those for now. Let's go with like a sci-fi action horror movie, like Alien or something. I want to be the guy who has like the biggest guns and like so much ammo wrapped around his chest. And, and I want to be like the part where we're going through a really dark hallway. And I want to like... I'm like taking down all these monsters in front of me and I'm like, go ahead, you gotta go. And my team goes forward and I'm like, and I take out like the last three of them and then and it punches into a little close up. And then I hold the gun and I'm like, oh And I turn around and the real monster's right behind me and you get it, you, you get it. Oh, that's way too zoomed. Hello, welcome to my balcony. It's pretty cozy. Okay, so let me give you a little tour first. This is the balcony. Ah. That's it. That's everything. It's small. Level two. And so this game gets like a lot deeper as you move forward. Level one is like pretty low key. It's like, yeah, it's starting to get to know each other as people. Level two is like, hmm getting real. You have no clue about level three. What part of your life works? What part of your life hurts? I'm pretty happy to say that most of my life works. Like I'm, I'm very happy. I've made some huge decisions in the last year to quit a job that was no longer aligned with my life path, even to move to a whole new city. But right now what comes to mind when I think about what part of my life hurts is I went through a breakup a week ago. And even though it was my decision, it's difficult. It's really hard when you break the heart of someone that you love so much. Someone that grew to become a best friend of mine. So right now, that part is hurting, but I'm working on it and I'm healing. When you're asked, how are you? How often do you answer truthfully? Ooh, I love this one. Three years ago, every time. I'd say, I'm good, I'm okay, I'm fine. And now, honestly, I answer truthfully 95% of the time. If I'm on the bad side, like I'll say, like, honestly, I'm tired. Today's been stressful. I've had a tough week. And if it's on the good side, they like, today's been fantastic. I was even going to strangers telling them like, today is the best day of my life. And it was so funny. They'd ask me like, whoa, what happened? Uh, like, are you getting engaged or something? And I'm like, 
Like, no, I just, I feel really good and I'm deciding today is gonna be the best day of my life, so. Especially with your loved ones, and I'd say even with strangers, say how you're really feeling. How are you? Really, damn it, game. Why are you asking this? Okay, here, let me, let me change the angle for this one. My answer is it's complicated. I honestly feel like 75%, 80, even more percent of my life is truly fantastic. I've worked really hard over the last year to make some very tough decisions to get me on a path to living my dream life right now. And I, I'm so grateful. Like I've had amazing people support me and incredible opportunities and honestly things I never even dreamed of. But I've been going through so much transition that it's been uncomfortable and difficult and stressful and sad and lonely and so many different things. And recently I noticed there's a few areas of my life that just aren't where I'd like them to be. The two that really come to mind are my career and my relationships. I've been working really hard on these videos and trying to get to a point where I can upload two a week and it's been difficult. It's been difficult to do that with everything else going on while well, taking care of my health and still taking breaks and all of that. But I'm working on it. And the other one is my friendships category. I'm in a new city. I just went through a breakup and lost some friends. And I think it's just with all that transition, I just don't feel like I have the right friends and support network in this new city that I'm in. Again, with my answer, how am I doing? 80% amazing and grateful, 20% lonely and stressed out and struggling. I think that's okay as long as I take action and take care of myself and reach out to my current support network for what I need. So I hope you're doing okay. No, I hope you're doing fantastic. <laughs> Call someone you admire and tell them why you appreciate them. Put them on speakerphone. <laughs> Hey JD, I wanted you to know that you are an amazing, fantastic person and I've been so grateful for your friendship ever since we've met and I've always loved like how fun and positive and energetically contagious you are and and lately thank you so much for supporting me on like the hard breakup stuff I've been going through so I love you man. I love you too. That's a nice way to be interrupted from work. I appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> no problem. If you had one message for the whole world, what would it be? Have a piece of fruit today. You heard it here, folks. <laughs> All right, man. Thanks for letting me bother you at work. Love you. Love you too. Bye. Yeah. Hello. Okay, we're on to level three. If I cry from this, then. Okay, level three. Do you believe everyone has a calling? If so, do you think I've found mine? I do believe everyone has a calling, and it takes time to figure out what that is. I love using the term "lighting you up." So I ask people, like, what truly lights you up. For me, it's something that puts a big smile on my face, just like good thoughts and energy come to me. And often it's like a topic or an activity that I could do for hours. Do I think I found mine? I do, I really do. Hey, voiceover John here. The John on the screen got a little carried away and went down a really long rabbit hole story of pretty boring stuff. But the short version is, when I was a kid, I wanted to be an artist. But I didn't think that was a real possibility. So eventually I went down a path that led me to law school with the hope of helping people. And video John, you explain the rest. Come on, what do I pay you for? <laughs> eventually I got back in touch with what I wanted, which was this combination of creativity, humor, entertainment, and helping people. And that's what I'm doing through this channel. And if you need help finding what your calling is, I actually have some old videos on that. They're more educational than what I'm making now, but they were super helpful for helping me find out what I was really passionate about. What do you think my superpower is? I love this one because I use this language all the time with people. We all have superpowers and it kind of ties into what our calling is as well. There are things that you are able to do that I can't even get close to. Like maybe it's how fast you read or how you cook. Maybe it's a sport that you can do, a video game that you are like super pro at, or maybe it's just like your unique personality. Maybe you're an amazing listener and people feel so calm and accepted around you. And we all have these superpowers and we just don't think about them. Like for example, I have some friends who are incredibly direct. And sometimes it gets them in trouble when they can be a little blunt. But other times I'm like, this is your superpower. You have the ability to cut through the BS that people are too passive to talk about and to say, hey, I care about you as a person and I want you to know this specific topic. Like this is your superpower, hone that and master it and you can do things that other people cannot. So everyone has this. What do you think my superpower is? I think I have a lot of superpowers. 
because I love myself. I think my greatest superpower is my ability to see the world in its greatest form. I've learned and accepted now that I am an eternal optimist. I just see the world in such a positive light. Sometimes it can get me in trouble if I'm too naive. And so I kind of have this high energy enthusiasm to me at all times. Like literally I was making a bagel the other day and dancing with it and I was happy because I hadn't eaten a bagel in a year. And that just like brought a big smile to my face. So I think my optimism and positivity is my superpower. What do you think my weakness is? I'll tie this back to what I said in the beginning. It was my codependency, which turned into pretty passive communication in my past. And so my weakness would still be in that category. I'm still working on having direct and honest communication with people, setting boundaries that respect who I am and staying true to them, which is surprisingly hard. I'm still working on it. What do you recommend I let go of, if anything? I need to let go of my view that I'm not doing enough. I have so many goals and aspirations and I know I can achieve such a high level that I often try to do everything at once. And I'm, I'm working on it. I'm celebrating what I'm actually doing. In one word, describe how you feel right now. Grateful. Thanks for watching. Just kidding, one more. What is a lesson you'll take away from this conversation? Ooh, I love this one. I've only played this game with other people, and I actually feel like this is incredibly beneficial to play by yourself. Just to like prompt yourself with good questions about your life and how you're feeling and where you're going. So the lesson I took away from this is that I personally don't, and I bet a lot of people don't take enough time to sit down with themselves, reflect on who they are, and get to know themselves on a deeper level. You can definitely do that with other people, but it's cool to remember that you can do this by yourself. So I'm gonna do this a little bit more. Maybe when I meditate, maybe I'll pull one of these questions. Sounds pretty cool. I'm a cool guy. This is the end of the video. Goodbye. <laughs>